my mind, the Trilby pack is the ultimate gaffed pack because normally a whole gimmick deck will only do one trick and that's why a lot of people have an aversion to them. But the Trilby deck system replaces and does everything that you could ever imagine a gaff deck to do. It's like an improved Svengali pack, an improved stripper pack and also a colour changing pack and you can also shift between these functions in performance. It's been buried in Kmar Magic's vault uh, since about the 1940s uh, when it was invented by Joe Stutthard and now it's my pleasure to be reintroducing it to the Magic community with Kmar and Big Blind Media uh, together with all kinds of new moves and applications for it that I'm sure Joe would enjoy and I'm sure you'll enjoy as well. Check out the Trilby deck. Now I'm going to show you guys a card trick. It's going to be awesome. But normally in a card trick, only one card is chosen, and it's kind of easy on us magicians to just find one card. So I'm going to have both of you choose cards, all right? Okay. So this makes it double as yeah. hard for me. So would you like to take a card from near the top somewhere? Near the top? Yeah, that's perfect. And would you take a card from near the bottom somewhere? Of course. Excellent. And have a look at them and remember them. That would be awesome. And uh, would you... Um, Hold on to your card, we'll try something with yours in a bit. Did you pop your card in somewhere along just in here? Somewhere? That's absolutely excellent. And don't forget it, obviously, and we should show the camera as well, just so that the camera remembers. And uh, everything goes back Should I show mine? Uh, no, keep hold of yours, we're gonna try something with that, hopefully. And it might even work, you never know. Uh, now we're gonna give the cards uh, a few strange sort of shuffles. I'm gonna cut them into four roughly equal uh, piles, like, well, it doesn't matter too much, actually. Sort of like this. And I'm going to turn two of them face up. So we've got half the pack face up and half the pack face down like this. And the idea is I'm going to shuffle all of these together into a big sort of heap. So these are the first ones going in like so. And then into those we'll shuffle the next lot like this. And into those go the last section. So what we should end up with here is a great big heap of sort of uh, messed up cards, some face up and some face down. Now, we're going to try and find your card first. Do you remember the name of your card? Yes, I remember what it was. Excellent, that's good. I'm going to give the cards a little shake and hopefully all the cards sort themselves out perfectly for me, except for one in the centre. Was it the King of Clubs? I hate to say it, but yes. It was? Oh, you hate to say it. Oh, harsh. I'm doing my best here. Easy, all right. Now, of course, we only found one of the cards this time. We didn't find your cards because you never put your card back in the pack, nope. right? So, I'm going to try and work out what your card is anyway. I'm going to square the rest of the cards up. And uh, all you need to do is tell me the suit of your card. What was the suit of your card? A heart. A heart. All right. Watch very carefully. I'm going to work out which heart it was. A little click of my fingers over the top of the pack. And now, face up, in order, the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way through. I'm missing the five of hearts. So that must That's be what you yeah, chose. Is that it? That's my Show the camera for me. Show the camera up here. That'd be perfect. And there you go, that is the truth. How do you do that? Is that, is that right? <laughs>